Morning. Before we start, I'm going to tell you why there's only a mill house and not a mill over there on the left. Dunstan Mill was recorded in the Doomsday Book in the year 1086, so God knows how much earlier there could have been one year. In the late 18th and early 19th century, a steam-driven mill was built here, the one you can see in the picture. And apparently, this was demolished in the late 19th century, as you can see in this picture from 1902, it's not there, and now only a memory. Now we've straightened that out, let's get on with the crows. I'm going to show you from here, Hunsdon Mill House, up to Pandon Mill. This river's just full of mills. The wind's getting up, which is going to make it harder for me to handle H. H is up to it. Not sure about me though. More lovely little tree lined corridors. When I bought H, I had this plan worked out of exactly what I was going to do. But circumstances have changed. So later on in the video, I'll have a little chat about that. On the river stalk you do get close to these weirs because of the narrowness. We'll have a closer look at this one shall we? This is what feeds the bywash that went round the lock that I showed you in the previous video. You'll see here that boaters don't ignore each other, they do interact. My original plan was to go up to the top of the River Lee and film all that and come back and then go up to the top of the Stolt, film it all and then head all the way down the Lee and go through London and then up the canals and the rest of England. But the way it's looking now we could end up with a lockdown and I could be stuck in the middle of London. I don't really want that. My new plan is to stay this side of London until at least the new year and then we'll assess it again and hopefully I'll be able to get through London and out the other end before spring. I can feel the stress from here with all that traffic rushing by glad I ain't doing that no more. Coming up on the left, I saw something that made me feel sad. 
It looks like a homeless person trying to survive in a tent. The weather's okay today, but you've got winter coming up and you're going to get no protection from the cold in there. My prayers go out to lost souls like that, that something changes in their life, something good happens. But that's the society we live in now. The people that matter don't seem to care. The river's getting narrow on this stretch. It's a pretty little stretch though. I just hope nothing comes the other way. I'm going to grab this camera a bit lively before it gets knocked in the drink. I always seem to leave it to the last minute. As I've said before about Harlow being over there on the right, we're getting really close now and there's still no signs of it really. The only sign we have seen is the main road, the 414, but that's all. I haven't got the Nicholson guide up here with me, but the next lock should be coming up soon. I know I only chug along slow, but I thought I'd have been there by now. There it is, I can see the lock landing. And that's a big old imposing building. That must be Panda Mill. I think it will pay for me to have two centre lines and I won't have all this trouble trying to get it over mushroom vents and planks. It is a problem because them extra couple of seconds you take the boat's moving on. Move up as far as I can get, yeah? You'll see on this lock our boaters actually help each other out. I'm going to pull H along so he's actually overhanging the end of the lock landing to make a little bit of room. Then I'll go back and pull the other boat in. 
before going up and setting the lock. Where I've pulled H up past the lock landing, it'll make it very difficult for me to turn it out and then back in the lock. So I'm reversing up past the other boat and then I'm going to swing it round. Watch what happens here. You'll see the hazards of trying to film and control an arrowboat at the same time. You'll see the other boat are coming up there on the right. Keep your eye on him. Them extra few seconds playing about with the camera has made me miss the lock ladder at this end. And as I'm putting H in reverse, it's only pushing me further away from the side. So I'm going to jump up onto the roof and try and catch the front ladder. But I'm not as nimble as I used to be. wasn't fast enough and the boat floated out too far and there's no way I'm jumping across. I threw the line over to the other boater and he's going to pull me in. See I helped him, now he's helping me. Hopefully that's the end of the dramas for the day. Who said narrow boating's boring? I'll tell you a little bit about the mill. Pandan Mill goes back some time. It was also mentioned in the Doomsday Book. There's been a number of mills on this spot milling flour. Where flour is combustible there's been many fires and mills have burned down over the years. The last one in 1897. Construction on the current mill was completed in the year 1900. After being used for various different business ventures, it fell into disrepair. But nowadays, the mill is an art gallery. We look like two peas in a pod. It's nice to have a bit of help on a lock and someone to have a chat with. If you could hear us talking, we're having a chat about what's best, buying a wig or having an air transplant. We both agreed in the end that a woolly hat would be cheaper and probably look a bit better as well.
looking at the scenery here it would make a pretty picture wouldn't it I think that'll do us for this one if you got this far thank you so much for coming along with me and i hope to see you next time <laughs>